In today's saturated marketplace, do you have to be fun or quirky or extroverted to stand out as a photographer and be noticed? Are you worried that you're too boring to market your photography business successfully? That's coming up in today's video. There are lots of photographers who really capitalize on their witty humor, their fun persona, or their quirky outlook in their marketing. They make sure that everything they create and push out to the world has a giant dose of personality and it's great. Like I love seeing all of this personality in the marketing of lots of different photographers. And there's no doubt that this works. We're drawn to humans who have similar values to our own. And showing who you truly are to the world is definitely the best way to stand out from your competitors and attract clients that you're going to really love working with. But what if you don't naturally fit into any of the funny, quirky, or extrovert categories? Does this mean you'll only ever be able to create bland marketing, just totally devoid of any personality? I really hope you'll agree that the answer to this is a definitive no way. Since when does having a personality mean that you're either a comedian an oddball or an extrovert. What a load of crap. Lots of my favorite people, and I mean favorite people, are none of those things. Yet they have fabulous personalities and an abundance of things to say, given the right environment. So if you find yourself pouring over the websites of quirky, mega fun or extroverted photographers and feeling completely boring in comparison, then stop, please. Do you think all of your potential clients are looking for a photographer like that? Of course not. Now, some are, and they will be attracted to the fun, the humor, and all the antics, and others will be turned off, and they will keep on looking. And maybe they are looking for someone just like you. I can't count the number of times a photographer has told me that they find it difficult to inject any personality into their marketing because they're an introvert or I just don't have anything interesting to say. Everyone has something to say that will be interesting to someone. Even if all you do is work, love on your dog and watch murder documentaries, I can promise you that there are plenty of people who will gladly engage with you over your dog anecdotes and the latest Netflix murder release. When you say that you have nothing interesting to say, you are making it all about yourself. What about all of the potential clients out there who would relate more to a photographer like you than the photographers you think have more personality than you? Don't you have a duty to them to let them find out that you are that person? We need to stop thinking that not being quirky or wildly funny or extroverted means that you're automatically boring and less appealing to clients than the photographers who are. I know this is much easier said than done. You know, injecting who you are as a person into your marketing, it really takes some digging, it takes learning, and then it takes a whole lot of practice. The Biggest opportunity definitely for you to do this is with your copywriting. The writing that you do for your website, your social media, your emails, and that's just to name a few. What you write and the way you write it should be so unmistakably you. It should be dripping with who you are. It should show what you believe in and what you find interesting. Because I know how difficult this can be for so many of you, I have put together an hour long workshop on copywriting just for photographers. I will walk you through four simple tips that will immediately and drastically improve the effectiveness of your copywriting. 
It's going to take you from composing generic, you know, lost in the crowd copy to crafting high impact words that fill your ideal client with a desire to work with you and only you. So click to sign up and let's unleash who you really are to the world. There is a link under the video.